Generic greetings and welcome to Opus Magnum today's beverages. A nice cup of Borville. When it is a blisteringly warm summer's day outside, nothing takes the edge off a thirst like the heat sink that is a liquid beef extract drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not the case at all. It's a complete fallacy. It just makes you warmer. But to be fair, it is actually really cold outside. Even though I was in shorts earlier, it is now absolutely hoying it down and rain. So, um, hey ho, it uh, can change quite quick. Well, right, whatever. I digress. Um, so, this is a puzzle game that I featured several times on the channel, but not as of late. And there's no real reason other than I just sort of stopped playing. As you can see, I'm um, on chapter three and I'm halfway through it. And I haven't done anything past. Um, the water purifier so if you're wanting um oh by the way the last time i played this was several months ago so if you're wanting some high quality uh, very experienced gameplay here then you're going to be sorely disappointed if you want to see essentially a bumbling buffoon akin to a dog with a chemistry set then um, stick around let's try to do a real solvent so um let's have a quick look i uh, looks like i've already give up on this one let me just delete it all and we'll start from scratch so, the way it works, if you've not seen it, is essentially you have a set of sequences and a set of mechanisms. So, it's all uh, like an alchemical machine, and we have to um, connect things up and move them around, and we need to produce something. So, this is the product that we need to make. So, this all needs to be made from these components. So, we can see that none of these components, other than the uh, elemental water, um, is there. So, we've got elemental water, so that, um, that basically is that section there. However, we've got something here, which is, um, that's a solvent. We've got something here, um that we can't make, or we can make, but it'll have to be from these components. So if we open up the, uh, where is it, the, uh, the alchemical primes and their transmutators tree, we can see that to make salt, we need to take any of the, um, primes, so air, fire, earth, water, and then deconstruct it down to salt. So we can do that, so we can use, say, the water there, and then we'll use probably the, where is it, uh, glyph of calcification transmutes any of the four cardinal elements earth fire water earth heart go planet no uh, into natural salt so we can use that um, in order to make this however which we can see from the right hand side is tin we need to turn lead and mix it with quicksilver and then we get tin so we do have lead and then we do have um elemental quicksilver so we can probably make that so let's make a stupidly inefficient machine because this is the genius of this game is that you can be stupidly inefficient and you can still complete it and still continue on it's not like a puzzle where there's only one solution there are multiple solutions there are uh, many different ways of doing it whether it be speed efficiency or um, like um, a very condensed build but if you just want to make something that works then you can pretty much do that without any huge effort and then you go back and you reiterate, you, you change things up, you make it more efficient, and that sort of thing. And um, let's just crack on. So, we need to make this element first. We're going to go from the element there and work our way across. So, in order to make lead, we need to take uh, both elemental quicksilver and elemental lead and then put them into this thing here, the glyph of projection. So, that is uh, consumes an atom of quicksilver and promotes an atom of metal to its next highest. So, where does the quicksilver go? I'm guessing the quicksilver goes there because it's the same sort of. Um, it's the same element there. So in order to get this in there quickly, is there a way we can do it? Well, we do have lots of different um, actuators and mechanisms here. We have like a grabby, spinny, roundy type thing. That probably wouldn't function unless we uh, really... Uh, no, we, there's no way that would uh, function. Let me get rid of that. Um, realistically, we're probably going to use a piston arm. And then we'll just grab and then push it into there. And then um, push it further along into the next piece and that's probably what we'll do but let's say grab um what should we grab actually in order to make that where well, that just connects straight up and then we need to put that into one of those so actually we can probably use just a couple of arms here so i'll have one of them in there one of them in there um although is that the best way of doing it i think so what's the maximum uh, range oh it goes up to there to four one, two, three, oh, up to three, okay. So we'll push it to there and then push it to there and probably move it over to there. But we'll go there and then we'll have another one in there. We will set it. So the first action for this is grab. So it is um, grab, so we put that in there. And then we go extend by one and then we drop, which is, where is drop? Ah, is drop? Yeah, drop. Um, but we don't want to drop both. We only want to drop this... Um, 
actually drop we should be fine for the first one but then after that we want to go forward so let's just run that through through the cycles there and um, so we'll move it over to there and we will play this so plus we'll play and there you go we now have that which is our um which is our lead Oh, sorry, tin. Tin, we've now got tin. Excellent. So that now functions. So that goes to there, and then we'll go a little bit further forward. So it'll go one, two, three. So it'll eventually be there. While that's happening, we need to take this element, and then we need to connect them up. So we know that that is going to go... Actually, we'll probably say delete that one. Put it to there. We do need the uh, glyph of bonding, and we will put... How we're going to do this? We will put the glyph... Um... I think we we'll, should be able to put it there um, and then we'll again use one of these. So that'll grab there, that'll push forward, forward and then it will drop and will that work? Um, forward, forward, drop, then that can, what we'll do is we'll say reset instruction so that goes back to the beginning of the timeline. Um, this one will go grab forward, wait a bit for that to um, be dropped and moved and that goes over to there. Let's just step through this end. So step, first step, second step, third step, fourth step, and that's now connected. Okay, so on that fourth step, that is now connected to there, so we've made this, which is exactly what we want. However, if we back up a bit, we see one, two, three, then the fourth one, that's connected up, but there's no instruction for... Oh, that's um, actually fine. We can probably reset that then. So we'll reset that one there. Um, and that'll take it to that point to reset. Because that'll then retract down to there. Reset for that one is the same. It's just going to go back to its original starting position. But we've not told it to repeat. Um, you can do it so you can have multiple repeating actions on the arms. Or you can just build one big sequence like we're doing now. So that'll eventually be there. So, we need to think about how we're going to then put the rest of these uh, atoms in because we only have, uh, we only have uh, that there, that region, and we need to probably use the glyph of calcification to do that. Now the question is, do we need to drop it on there? Let's find out. Let's step it, grab, move. Ah, yes it does. So that calcifies it straight away, so that wouldn't be acceptable for us at this point we need to get it over there um the best way of doing it then is to probably reposition this um it needs to be efficient so that we can grab move move grab move move grab move move and we'll have to rotate this around so where it is is probably all right but the issue is that we need to get that there without passing that on the first pass so that means we could move it to there um and then sort of grab ah oh, we can't push it there or we could probably put it there but no because if it was extended it would not be able to go to that although it would only require one move um that's the same sort of problem that we've had previous though because that that would be the right sequence because we just go push push which we mentioned. Let me just step through that and make sure it is fine. Yeah, so that's wrong. Bang, and then it breaks. Okay. But that was correct there. Um, how many do we need to make? Does it say? Um, I don't know. Anyway, so we need to get that there. We can... We can say number three. Grab um, all of these. Move over to there. Doesn't really matter. Turn left. Then go forward twice and then turn that way let's try that okay and that functions that's fine and then the rest when we reset it just is move and move and move that's good right well it's not good it's just not broken <laughs> big difference okay so that's now in um, the second one, we do want to, after it's pushed there, we do want to drop it, um, and then we will reset the arm, just to get it out of the way. We're going to put a third arm in that's going to manipulate this entire bit, and that'll be... That'll have to be another one of these, even though it's going to be very expensive. Um, the way to probably do it is to move it from 
here, but then we're thinking about the rotation of it, and it won't be able to sit in some of these sections, because it's very, very cramped at the moment, which is why we might end up moving it further along. Okay, so... Um, assuming that these are now correct, we then need to turn it so that ends up there, but that'd end up there, so that's not possible. Um, where is the rest of it? If we place it there, it might work. <laughs> might work. Um, or do we just... We could probably use... Could probably use these instead. And have two of these. Is that possible? It is. But is it efficient? Hell no. It drops off there. But then that needs to be rotated. So that it comes down there. Okay. Have one of those in. Let's try that. So it will grab when that one drops. It will um, have to pivot and then pull. Alright, good, but I think we can alter the sequence so that it is a bit quicker, which is that. Yeah. And then, let me just run that. Then it waits. That's fine. That's fine for now. So, um, that's going to do that. And then number three... Number three... will return. And we will repeat the instructions. No, we won't. We won't repeat because we don't want to go up and round. We want to grab. Forward, forward. Drop. Reset. And we need to copy that three times. Um, how do I repeat that? I think we can copy it. Anyway, grab, forward, forward, drop, reset, grab, forward, forward. It's assuming that the first sequence was correct and they were and then that. So let's see. Made, tin, moved, pulled, waiting. One. And then we need to move this. So we now need to rotate it so that that is there. Which we can do with another one of these. So number four pulls back there and then drops it. We then need a fifth one. Mm, that should be okay. Which grabs it. Step through that. There. No, it needs to go up. So it's grabbed. Drop. Pull. Rotate. Let's try that. I think it's wrong, but... No, it's correct. Okay. Didn't expect that, but we'll continue going through the sequence. Now that's correct. There you go. Um, and finally... Ah, that's going to hit into that, so it's not going to work. But what we can do is go there, move it further forward, um, and then we'll drop it. And then can we use armor number four? Yes, we can. I think. Um... Oh, no, we could. We could push, push, turn. Would that work? 
Number four, after that's dropped, we'll grab. Ah, oh, but it hasn't. That's oh yeah, grab. Push, rotate. One, two, three. Right, I've stepped it too far. Um, there it needs to go. Yeah. Wait. Right, sequence is wrong. It's that. Stepping through. Yeah. So actually, that can grab there. It doesn't really matter when it grabs. Um, I think actually it might. Let's try that. Stepping through. Connects. Pushes. Turns. Darn it. Slightly wrong. <laughs> um, it should be there. Right. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there is a solution. And the solution is we can either have another arm or we can have this track. Which we then um, do that. Alright. So then it can slide along the track. So it does that. And we need it to and have a positive instruction move there. So let's try that. Grab, moved, waits, turns, grabs, pushes there, and then that's that. And then that is that is actually what we need to create. That we just need to get it in to that though. So, can that extend? No, that can't extend one more, which is a shame. I think that's at full extension, isn't it? Let me just check. Yeah, can't go any further. So what we'll do is, once it's moved to there, we'll go back, then we'll turn the whole thing around and we'll see where that ends up. Mm. We'll see that where that ends up. I think it's going to smack into number five. Oh! Close! Close! Let's try that. Hang on. Whoa, hang on. Someone's, someone's off here. Two, three. Ah, we're moving it before that. And then reset. And reset. And that's it. That should be it. I'm hoping. Cycles aren't good. But area is good. We haven't used a great amount of machines. Um, five arms plus a slider. I'm sure there's a better way of doing it. There always is and we'll find out here. Um, not too bad, is it? I don't think. Cost We've got as 250 gold, which is, you can see, the, the normally the average other is sort of hovering between, it looks to be what? Is that 50? Yeah, it's, it's some people are doing it with uh, between 50 and, 100, uh, 50 and um, 100. But the average is around sort of 100 to 150 level-ish, um, around that sort of area. Cycles were bang on the money with 157. There you go. Not not bad at all. And area, it's actually a lot larger than I expected. Uh, 41. But, you can continue editing if you wish. Because you can um, 
if you want if you want you can decide to say right i'm going to redo it so is there any efficiency <clears throat> is there anything we can do to make this more efficient um we probably could and it would be the it would be using instead of this arm instead of this arm we'd use a different arm to get that product where it needs to be so let's cycle through and we'll get to where it's made its final element so there that's the last one so what we do instead of using this arm to do all sorts of stuff because we need to reset it you see uh, and that's where the cycle where, where we're quite high on the cycle count if we use say uh, this arm number five because it's not doing much from there it's not doing anything at all it's just resetting itself um Grab, push. Yeah, turns. And then resets. Right. So instead of this then, move instructions fine. Um, we can drop it and reset. Which is reducing the cycles down a bit. Whereas this one... Don't know if that's going to smack into the old machinery. We'll grab on to it there, rotate and reset. Step through. Ah, for a start, I've got the wrong one. I want to move that away. That should be right, I think. Maybe not the final resting place of the compound, but... Yeah. Was it that? Okay. <clears throat> Is that better? Possibly. We'll find out in a second. I think it'll. I think it'll give us a comparison, won't it? Um. Yes, we have improved it. So the cost is exactly the same. It's still quite expensive. Cycles. The previous was one fifty-seven. We've took it to one five-five. I think there's still some efficiency to be made there. We could probably use one of these other arms and bring that down. Um, but the area is being reduced from forty-one to thirty-five. But progress. It's all progress. This is what I said at the start, and I have mentioned it in the other videos that, apart from it just being a very beautiful game and a very smart game, this decision of Basically, you can finish it however you want. It's it's not normally very difficult to make something that'll do the task. What is difficult is getting it um, efficient in costs, cycles, and area. But that's why I really love it because you can do it and you're right. I've got the solution. Now how do we make it better? And even with that just, just little tweak there, we have improved it. And you can then, you'll because you've made the solution, you're not going to get hung up on it. You're not going to get stuck on it. Um, you can come back to it whenever you want. You might start thinking about different ways of doing it because you've already had a successful run on it. You then may see the solutions that are in a better form. And yeah, I'm not going to uh, <laughs> go on and on because I really uh, would probably spend quite a number of hours doing so if uh, we went down that road. Either way, that's been a bit of Opus Magnum. It's um, free for schools now, which is brilliant, as well as all the other Zactronics games. Um, and it's just a fantastic piece of kit uh, in and of itself. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the video. Um, by all means, if you have a better solution, then um, send me the gif over, create the gif, tweet it over, whatever. Uh, we'd like to see what the uh, what people come up with. I'm guessing we could make one that's even like it's just terrible so it's like stupidly inefficient get into the uh, 800 cycles area just using one manipulator i'm guessing that is possible in fact i know it's possible because you'll just be able to have an extended extending arm um probably on a track and it would just have to um rotate uh turn as well as extend and um, go along the track but uh, yeah I guess cost would be quite low for that but however the cycles would be stupidly high and the area would be actually quite low as well maybe maybe we give that a go either way <laughs> hope you have enjoyed the video thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings <laughs>